Good morning, everyone. The meeting will come to order. Um, welcome to the February 14th, 2018 regular meeting of the Public Safety and Neighborhood Services Committee. I'm Supervisor Raphael Mandelman, chair of the committee. Um, the, the constitution of which has changed a little bit over the last couple of months. To my right is Vice Chair Supervisor Stephanie, and to my left is Supervisor Walton. Um, welcome to both of you. I'm excited to serve with you. Our clerk is John Carroll, and I would also like to thank Tom Loftus and Jim Smith uh, of SF Gov TV for staffing this meeting. Mr. Clerk, do you have any announcements? Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. Please ensure you've silenced your cell phones and electronic devices. Your completed speaker cards and copies of any documents you wish to be added to the file should be submitted to the clerk. Items acted upon today will appear on the February 26th, 2019 Board of Supervisors agenda unless otherwise stated. Great. Mr. Clerk, please call the first item. Agenda item number one is an ordinance amending the police code to rescind the authorization for the police department to be a member of the National Rifle Association or to collect tournament fees for the National Rifle Association. Vice Chair Stephanie, this one is yours. Would you like to introduce it? Yes, thank you, Chair Mandelman. Colleagues, I find it very fitting that on this day we are considering this ordinance. One year ago, a gunman opened fire at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, killing 17 people, 14 students, and three staff members. In six minutes and 20 seconds, 14 children died in Parkland that day and were taken away from their parents. Three educators died trying to protect their students. In the years since, nearly 1,200 more children have died due to gun violence and the epidemic that is plaguing our nation. I'd like to just read the names of those who passed a year ago today in that shooting. Scott, Martin, Nick, Aaron, Jaime, Chris, Luke, Kara, Gina, Joaquin, Elena, Meadow, Helena, Alex, Carmen, and Peter. We will never forget. We will remember the thousands of victims of gun violence in the last year and the hundreds of thousands of survivors and family members who've, whose lives have been forever changed. This ordinance might not be that big of a deal, but I think it sends a message. It would rescind the police department's authority to be a member of the NRA and to collect tournament fees on behalf of the NRA in connection with holding firearms tournaments. The NRA has become a toxic and dangerous organization. Following the mass shooting in Parkland, they fervently fought against all forms of gun violence prevention and argued for more guns in schools. The NRA has demonstrated that it has no interest in the safety of our people. Yesterday in Washington, D.C., in the House Judiciary Committee, six years after Sandy Hook, H.R. 8, the universal background check bill, passed out of committee. Six years since Sandy Hook, and finally we are seeing a bill pass out of committee for universal background checks. The NRA tweeted today, the Democrats don't want to end universal, just end at universal background checks. H.R. 8 will lead to a national gun registry, which always leads to confiscation. NRA members and gun owners see through their sneaky agenda. Are you kidding me? Our sneaky agenda? Our agenda is to fight for common sense gun reform. I am so inspired by the three women I see here today in the audience, and the millions across America who continue to not accept this level of gun violence in our country. I am inspired by the survivors in Parkland who organized and marched. I am inspired by our own students across the Bay who have joined their call for common sense gun safety measures. I am inspired by the women that I've worked with and the men I've worked with over the last two decades on this issue, and it is about time we are making the progress we need to make in this country. This legislation sends another message that San Francisco stands against the gun violence epidemic in America. The ex existing code being changed may be considered antiquated, and the SF Police Department has not been a member for the NRA for years. But we still must remove this section of the code because words matter. Words tell us what we value, and they tell us what we fight for in our society. San Francisco and this board, I believe, values the lives of our residents 
and fights to protect us from gun violence. We do not support the NRA, and they do not belong in our police code. Chief Scott and the San Francisco Police Department support this legislation, and I hope to have your support as well, colleagues. And to the NRA, we will not let you continue to put profits over people in this country. On this day, I remember the victims, I send love to survivors, and I recommit myself, along with the thousands of others, to honor all victims of gun violence with action. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Vice Chair Stephanie, and thank you for your passion and persistence on this issue. Um, if we don't have any questions or comments, we will, uh, we will go to public comment. Um, if there are members of the public who would like to comment, I ask that you stand up over on your right. Um, speakers will have two minutes. Uh, please state your first and last name clearly and speak directly into the microphone. Those who have prepared written comments uh, are encouraged to leave a copy with the committee clerk for inclusion in the official file. No applause or booing is permitted. And in the interest of time, speakers are encouraged to avoid repetition of previous statements. And I will call our first speaker. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, my name is Ruth Bornstein. I'm a San Francisco resident, District 8. Hello, Supervisor. Um, I want to thank Supervisor Stephanie for bringing this issue to light. It was shocking for me to see this on the agenda, to know that in this time of the most horrific gun violence our country has ever seen, we have a law on our books to authorize the SFPD to be a member of and to help collect funds for the NRA. And I completely agree, words matter tremendously, and I'm happy to hear that the SFPT supports this, that they're not a member, they're not collecting funds, but we, this should not be on our books. Um, the NRA opposes even the most common sense of all common sense gun laws, and they fight every city, state, and the federal government for every effort there is, including the recent lawsuit that was written up, I think it just last week, suing California for laws that were implemented after Proposition 63. Uh, we should not have any relationship with the NRA. It's against our San Francisco values. It's against what the SFPD stands for, which is fighting violence of all kinds. So I strongly support this bill. I am very appreciative that you've brought it to our attention, and I look forward to seeing this become law very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker. Good morning. My name is Maddie Scott. I'm the founder of Healing for Our Families and Our Nation, um, the California State President for the Brady Campaign, and the San Francisco Chapter for Mothers in Charge across the nation. Um, I lost my son uh, 22 years ago to, to this epidemic. I lost a nephew in 2007, lost a niece um, in 2011. Just recently lost a dear young man from the Bayview, Mr. Powell, um, to this epidemic as well, and representing a lot of mothers and fathers who could not be here today. So I'm just grateful and thankful for you all having this hearing and allowing us to speak our piece about this, that we're totally against SFPD with any relationships with the NRA. Um, and I just got back from D.C. with the families and friends from around the country and young men and women from all over who helped support the bill HR8. And so I'm just glad that Sh Shimon is here, who's been at the forefront supervisor, Shimon from District 10, who we all know is seriously affected by this epidemic, where most of our homicides occur, and in the TL, and for you, um, Supervisor Stefani for being at the forefront, always a champion on this, and as well as you, Supervisor Valley Brown. So I definitely appreciate your support in this and not allowing our SFPD to become members of the NRA. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker. Hi, um, my name is Mary Fryer. I want to thank you for what you're doing. I lost my cousin to gun violence, and the NRA has stood blocking sensible laws 
um, background checks, ban on military assault weapons. And in our case, we found out that no background was checked, done on the man that took my, killed my cousin and came here to California with the goal of seeking asylum at the Russian consulate in 2013. So many people have died this way, and what's most anguishing to me is this is preventable. And the NRA is toxic, their record is clear, and they've done nothing to make us safe. And today, fall days, for those children and families, a year ago today, I want to honor them as well as all the victims and you guys for bringing this to our attention. This is not our value in San Francisco. And the fact that the man that took my cousin's life was seeking asylum here, he was caught in Marin County. But he came across lines with a gun, many guns and bullets and high magazines to come here, and he was stopped. God knows what could have happened. This is my cousin Kirsten. And last year, I'm just going to be quick, we know that gun deaths in the United States, according to CDC, <clears throat> was the highest level ever. And I'm grateful to what you're doing. Um, I thought it'd be easy for me today, but every time I think about what happened to someone else, it brings back my cousin, who did so much for other people, and her children, who will never have their mother and for me, a loving cousin. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you for what you're doing, please. Thank you. Thank you. Um, are there any other members of the public who wish to speak on this item before we close co public comment? Oh, I was wondering if the NRA has an existing relationship with the local uh, law enforcement agency. Also, I was hoping that you can tell us when the uh, Last shooting tournament was held at the police department's practice firing range, or if any funds or fees whatsoever have been collected in relation to that idea. Um, I'd like to be certain that I've perceived your measure accurate, accurately so that uh, I might better under, understand what it is you intend or hope to achieve. I believe the NRA has not had a relationship with the San Francisco Police Department for at least the last um, decade and a half and that no tournaments are held at the Lake Merced range so but I you know I do find it discomforting and disconcerting that some officers may feel um, alienated from their weapons I would like to know that uh, local law enforcement is competent proficient comfortable and familiar with their firearms and uh, that they they are, are adequately trained so I was wondering what what is the periodic um, range uh, requalifications, what's the schedule like? Thank you. Are there any other members of the public who would like to speak? Uh, if not, I will close public comment. Public comment is now closed. Um, uh, Supervisor Walton. Thank you, Chair Mandelman. Uh, first, I just want to thank everyone who came out and spoke, uh, and I want to thank Supervisor Stephanie for sponsoring this. Um, you know, and just to, one thing I, I don't agree with in terms of your statement of this is not that big a deal because it really is a big deal. Um, for us to be able to set a tone for other municipalities that we do not support the NRA in their efforts to continue to push gun violence um, and continue to be a part of why we are in the state where we are in this country. Uh, as we look at gun shows at the Cow Palace and other things that we're trying to eradicate and eliminate from happening in our city that one don't share our values but also the opportunity for guns and magazines and things that violate our state laws to be sold right in our or near our municipality is very problematic so I just want to say that I'm 100% in support of this and want to thank you for stepping up uh, with this um, it is very important that we let everyone know that we don't want our law enforcement to be connected with the NRA um, in no way, shape, form, or fashion. And even the fact that there is um, law in the books that talks about the opportunity to even be able to fundraise uh, for an entity like the NRA is, is really despicable. And so I'm glad that 
you've, you've stepped up with this change that is really vital and important. So thank you, Supervisor Stephanie. Thank you, Supervisor Walton. Um, did you want to say any, anything else? Yeah. Thank you, Supervisor Walton. And just to respond to that, I do think this is a big deal. I would not have proposed it if I didn't. Um, I, I just want to be clear that some people said because the San Francisco Police Department hasn't participated um, in these firearm tournaments for a long time that it wasn't really necessary, which of course I disagree with, but I, I completely um, am so grateful for your support on this. I know, as Maddie Scott said, um, this is something that you have been working on for a long time as well, and I'm so happy that we have people like you on this board and that all of us are connected on this, um, on this issue. So thank you very much for your support. All right, thank you, uh, Vice Chair Stephanie. Um, so the appropriate thing for us to do, if we, it sounds like we are all in support, as I know we are, um, is a motion to forward to the full board with positive recommendation. Uh, would So moved. So uh, moved by uh, Supervisor Walton. We'll take that without objection. Thanks to all the folks who, who came to speak to us today and for all the work you do. Thank you. Mr. Clerk, please call the next item. Agenda item number two is a resolution